And that is only the latest in a series of mixed signals North Korea has been sending out lately, proposing to mend inter-Korean ties and then going ahead with a string of missile launches. But as the North improves its missile development capabilities, analysts in the U.S. have begun to wonder whether engaging in dialogue could be a better option for Washington than its current policy. Here's our Hwang Sung-hee. North Korea fired more missiles over the weekend, marking its 14th launch of projectiles this year. Three rounds of missiles were fired in July alone, all from different locations. The latest launch took place just 20 kilometers away from the military demarcation line dividing the two Koreas. As Pyongyang appears to be making strides with its missile development capabilities, North Korea watchers in Washington seem to be in favor of the U.S. engaging in dialogue with the regime. In a recent column in the U.S. journal National Interest, former U.S. State Department official Robert Einhorn criticized the Obama administration's strategic patience policy and said engagement could reduce the likelihood of dangerous North Korean provocations. The calls for dialogue have been echoed by other experts in the field, including Frank Genuzzi, former Asia policy advisor for the Obama camp in 2008, and former U.S. nuclear negotiator Stephen Bosworth. Meanwhile, amid the string of military provocations across the border, Seoul will meet its northern neighbor for talks this Thursday. North Korea said it would send a cheering squad to the upcoming Asian Games in South Korea, and the two sides have agreed to hold working-level talks this week to discuss the details of the trip. Experts say the meeting could go beyond the scope of the sporting event, but add that the joint military drills between Seoul and Washington that start this Wednesday remain a hurdle to better inter-Korean ties. Hwang Sung-hee, Arirang News.